Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm gonna be testing Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary Edition on the RX 570. So as you may know, Halo the Master Chief Collection is on PC but we only got Halo Reach. Well, yesterday out of nowhere we got Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary Edition, which is Halo 1 basically. And on this one I'll be testing just the same as Halo Reach. I'll try to get 60 frames per second with the resolutions I test. Usually 1080p, 1440p and 4K. If your GPU is older, like a GTX 750Ti, then 4K is a no-go, at least in my opinion. So in the options menu we got the resolution option as usual, then a frame rate cap option that has a no limit thing. But if you go above 60 frames per second you'll start to notice that some scripted things like flying a ship look jittery when moving. Well this is due to the animations, those are usually capped at either 30 or 60 frames especially the ones that are very scripted, like the entrance to the level. Not a huge deal, but definitely noticeable, especially if you want to go past 60 frames per second. And then we also got a graphical option, we have performance, original and enhanced. This keeps the enhanced graphics, but will lower the draw distance and the complexity of some of the models. So yeah, usually there's not a huge performance difference, but you can squeeze a few extra frames if you lower from enhanced to performance. And this one has a feature that wasn't present in Halo Reach, that is that if you press tab on your keyboard, you go back to the original graphics instantly, so you can see how the game looked back then, and then just press the key again and go back to the new visuals. I do this every once in a while in the video so you can see the differences. There's a huge performance improvement, of course, but the game looks significantly worse. But yeah, not much else to say, the game runs fantastically well, just like Halo Reach. Usually when you're fighting a lot of enemies, there's effects on screen, plus some vegetation, that's when the game suffers the most. And it can usually drop into the 60s or 70s on quad-core CPUs when moving very fast through the map or with many NPCs on screen. A faster CPU didn't make a huge difference, but it was still over 60, so I don't have many complaints. So yeah guys, that's about it. I hope you keep enjoying the video, thanks for watching, and I'll be seeing you again on the next Halo Master Chief Collection release. Find the security override to get this door open. Nice one! Take that! It looks like there is a path into the interior of the island. What the?
Okay, let's move out. Let's go find the map room that will show us the location of Halo's control center. Okay, let's move out. Let's go find the map room that will show us the location of Halo's control center. Thank <laughs> you. 
Security override to get this door open. <laughs> 